Hi, this is Christian from the Payroll Hero Customer Success Team, and in this video I will explain how to add allowances for your employees on Payroll Hero. If your company provides any allowances, paid expenses, or the minimum benefits for your employees, you can set these up on the system. Each allowance can be customized with its own tax rules and frequency of payment, which will be calculated along with the employee's payroll. An example of an allowance for the Philippines is the cost of cost of living allowance or COLA, which is a fixed amount given to minimum wage earners per day. Other traditional examples are transportation, laundry, or lunch allowances that are paid to employees daily or monthly. Allowances are created per position, and the amount of the allowance can be adjusted for all employees within this position or per individual employee on their profile. In this video, I will show you how to create a new allowance on Payroll Hero. So first, you want to go to the Account Settings page, and then scroll down on the left side menu, and go to the Positions page. Here, you have to select the position that you want to create the allowance for. In this example, go for the Account Owner. On the pop-up window, select the Details. By default, you'll see the Compensation Grid first. On this page, go here on the top to the Allowance Templates tab. Here you will see the existing uh, allowance templates, if there are any. To create a new one, click on the Add a new allowance template button. Here you will see the new allowance template form. On this page, you need to type the name of the allowance so you can identify it. This will be shown on the system and on the payslip, so I'll create a taxi allowance. Next, you will want to select the bank that will keep track of all the transactions done with this allowance. I'll select uh, taxi allowance. Then you select the frequency of this allowance to be paid. So I want this allowance to be paid once per payroll, or maybe I want to pay this once monthly. I want to pay it per workday or per actually workday. The difference between workday and actually workday is that per workday pays this allowance if the day is scheduled on the employee's profile. Per actually workday only pays this if there is actually a clock in and clock out by the employee on this uh, on this period. So I'll choose the per actually workday. Next, I would have to select the destination for this payment. If I select gross or taxable, the amount will be taxed first, and alternatively I could choose net, which would go directly to the net payment and not be taxed. So in this case I'll select gross, and finally I have to choose a tax rule if I want. And In this case I don't really have any tax rule that would apply for this, so I won't select, select the ta uh, a tax rule. When ready, you can verify all the details and click on the Create button, and this new allowance has been created, as you can see here. You can always edit the settings for this allowance here on this uh, Action menu on the Edit button. If you go back now to the Compensation Grid, you will see that at the end, I have this new allowance created, and it doesn't have a value. If I wanted to, I can select a value for this allowance, which would be per actually work day. So I can say, for example, 80 pesos per er every uh, actually work day. And now everyone under the account owner position will receive this new allowance. Alternatively, I can just leave it blank and configure this per employee. I will show you in a different video how to do this adjustment. And that is how to create the allowances for position on Payroll Hero. For more information and details, please check on our knowledge base at support.payrollhero.com. And if you have any questions, you can always reach us at support at payrollhero.com. Thank you for watching.